Hello, welcome to Page Starter. This is Lisa Ferland, and today I have two book recommendations on craft. If you really like outlining or plotting, or even if you know that you need some structure, you have some really big ideas, and you just want to like wrap your arms around it, I have one recommendation for fiction and one for personal essays, memoir. And I wanted to share them with you because I really feel like these two books have saved my sanity, have saved a ton of time, and it just really helped me stay focused and organized, which if you know me, I love shiny, I have shiny object syndrome and I love diving into new projects all of the time. And so for me to actually start something and finish it within a certain period of time is a struggle. So if I can stay focused and if I can pass on these resources to you, more than happy to do so. Okay, so the first book recommendation is for when you're writing a novel. It's called Save the Cat Writes a Novel, the last book on novel writing you'll ever need by Jessica Brody. And it's based on the best-selling book, um, Save the Cat Writes a Screenplay by Blake Snyder. So she took the same concept and then applied it to novel writing and really has great examples in here for modern books and the type of, you know, she breaks down, here's, you know, act one, scene one, here's the this and all the elements. So she breaks it down. It makes it super easy to understand. And then I was able to take my novel idea, find the genre that close, most closely matches it. And then she has a structure for each genre, which is like genius. So there are 10 genres in the book. Um, she has a structure for that genre and then has an example, like another story example for that genre. So it's super, super helpful in plotting everything out. What may be the most helpful part, and because I'm so focused on marketing, I like to start with the marketing part, and that's the pitch. And the pitch is, you know, what she calls log lines. I call them like elevator pitches, but it's like a super short pitch. And how do you write a good pitch? And this is important. Literally everyone needs to write a pitch. I don't care if you're getting a literary agent or anything. When someone asks you what your book is about, I want to hear the pitch. I want to hear your elevator pitch. I don't want you to say, oh, it's it's a really good book. You're going to love it. Like, tell me what it's about. Um, she has a great structure for that. And that, that has helped me figure out where my midpoint is going to be, where my catalyst is going to be, and what's the outcome I want for book one, especially because I want to do books like one, two, and three. It's really going to help me sort of map that out. And then of course you can take your pitch and turn that into your short synopsis. Again, because I'm focused on marketing, I, I'm doing this part first because I want to make sure I have a strong synopsis and I have a really good sense of where my story is going to go. Of course, this may change over time, but at least I'm able to kind of, again, hug and put my arms around my, my novel concept. So highly recommend Save the Cat Writes a Novel. The next one I'm going to recommend is Naked Drunken Writing by Adair Lara. And this, uh, the subtitle, Shed Your Inhibitions and Craft a Compelling Memoir or Personal Essay. I started following the format of writing in this, in this book, um, when I was big into blogging. So I was writing probably, you know, 800, I was publishing 800 words to a thousand words each week, maybe twice a week. I don't remember exactly what my writing schedule was, but I was cranking out blogs and really focused on, you know, the whole tear it on Facebook and da 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 and comments. And this was back when this was like a big deal. I know blogging was big. And I noticed, you know, when I just would write how Lisa thinks, um, it was okay. You know, my mom would read it and she's like, good, good job. But then when I started writing how Adair Lara told me to write, uh, it went really well and people would share it and recommend it and it went further. So um, if you want your writing to be kind of like universally consumed by more than just your mother who, you know, will read whatever you write, um, I consider, I would, I would get, you know, definitely buy this book, especially if you're writing anything personal, essay or memoir. Not only that, but I will say that this book changed my perspective on revisions and editing. And I really upped the game. Again, once I had this book, I was like, okay, I'm going to write and then I'm going to edit. Um, my writing was really, you know, idea. And then I would edit for two or three days before publishing. So the whole process was really intentional and thoughtful. And I was, I was putting a lot of time, effort, and energy into, into my work. Um, and 
surprise, surprise, when you put in hours into a blog, um, it, it tends to go a little further than if, when you're just kind of writing off the cuff. So there are some people who do this naturally. They're very talented writers and I'm happy to know them. Um, for me, it doesn't come naturally. So I have to work at it. <laughs> so if you too feel you need to work at it or if it doesn't come just naturally all the time, start here, start organized, start with resources. Compared to an MFA, these books are so cheap. So <laughs> just go get them. They're valuable, priceless, priceless advice. And then of course, enjoy the writing process. That is the fun part. The fun part is putting the words down on paper. And as one of my friends in my writing group said, she's like, you may, Lisa, have to write 50,000 words before you get the hang of it. And I'm like, no. And she's like, there's no escaping this. You're going to have to just write and eventually it will come forth. And maybe you just delete everything before uh, or maybe you keep it and try to salvage it. She's like, but it really just takes writing and writing and writing. And eventually you will learn how to write. And I have read about this by other people where they said you know the editor was like wow halfway through you learned how to write and now we're in a real novel <laughs> which is like not not helpful okay so don't forget to do the 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 writing bit to outline and then of course tackle it day by day bird by bird all right bye everyone thank you for listening to the page starter podcast